everybody it's me awesome monkey 97 here and today i'm going to be doing another zombie video um asking que asking people questions by what they are will they live or die and i'm here with my dad today i know this is pretty weird but sure why not <laughs> i agree it's weird but i'm glad to be here and so we're going to be doing the same questions that we did last time, the five basic questions, and then we're going to ask them deeper questions. So this first question is, if you could choose a household weapon, what would it be and why? Uh, it's just one? Because I, I, can, yeah, I can use as many as I can get. So, But I guess the first thing that pops in my head is like a pitchfork or something. Just because it's like it has points on it, and it'll be kind of hard to miss, I guess, because it's kind of wide. And uh, I don't want to get kind of morbid and gross, but you know, it'd be easy to pull out too. You don't want something that's going to get stuck inside. <laughs> um, so that, and or maybe a uh, baseball bat. Or, what else? Yeah, I guess that's it. That's... Yeah, um, uh... Can I suggest one more thing? Um, uh, a knife? Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't, yeah, the, um, yeah. But it couldn't be just any knife. You wouldn't want just, like, a little itty-bitty butter knife, you know? <laughs> I don't think that'd do much good, but, yeah. Very good. I didn't think about that one. So the next question is, what would be what would be your mode of transportation? This is going to be a pretty easy one. Easy. Well, you know, of course you want a car. Well, actually, better yet, you want a tank. But you know, <laughs> I, th I think that's me. not going to do you too much good. But yeah, but the problem is, is you're going to run out of gas real soon. You know, because everybody else is going to be getting gas too. So, um, I'd want. A good pair of hiking boots too and a bike if I could manage it all right so number three so question number three you can if if you can only bring five vimes into a zombie apocalypse what would they be five items um, five, things. five five things um, some to start a fire with and something to I could use to like get clean water, you know, to like filter water or something. I guess I could do that with with fire. Um, what else? Um, a good backpack and like a, a tarp, I guess, so I could have like a make a make a tent at night. And how many is that? That's four? Wow. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think about that show, Naked and Afraid. Or was it Naked? What was the name of that show? Because <laughs> they, they they can only pick one thing or two things with them. I'm trying to think what they what they would pick. That's not gonna last very long either. Oh, if you mean like general stuff, yeah, it would be like uh, a weapon with ammunition, food, and gas, and batteries. No, better yet, some uh, solar powered charge. So you could charge your batteries all the time, even if you know you didn't have electricity. And yeah, you gotta have something like that. Um, Okay, so, something to catch water with, like when it rains or something like that, so you can have a way to collect water. Alright, so next question uh, for the Simple Five one. What is an asset that could help you in a zombie apocalypse? Sorry, it's gonna be. Okay, and oh, this is where you, this this is like. This has to do with what, like, what personal abilities you have or skills yeah, you have. Yeah, what can help you? Um, I'm a coward. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, <laughs> around zombies, I would be. Uh, hmm. 
Well, I'm pretty old, so I couldn't rely on my physical skills too much. So I'd, I'd have to say um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at thinking ahead. And, and I know everybody does this when they watch TV, but you know, you're always thinking, oh, no, you shouldn't have done that. That's really stupid. You should do this. So, um, yeah, I guess I, I like to think maybe I can think of ways to survive. So, you know, just by my wiles rather than being strong or fast. Yeah. Another thing that I thought he'd say, to be honest with you, is logic. That'd be another thing, but, well, let's roll with it. All right. So, um, uh, he, so here are other questions, um, uh, I'm going to ask. Uh, these are going to be really deep, and this is going to be really hard. <laughs> And a lot of them I don't even want the answer for, but I'm very, I really want to know the answer to these qu this question. <laughs> if you're only to bring one person with you in the zombie apocalypse, who would it be? Myself. That's the only way I can answer that. No. <laughs> only one person. That's why I did not, that's why I did not want to ask you. Actually, that's really easy. A family member. All right, I got a question for you. So, if you had to pick a, a one of these places to to live during the zombie apocalypse, what would it be? Would you rather live on a boat at night, where you had to come ashore to get your, or live on a boat offshore, but you had to come ashore to get supplies and and stuff like that, or would you rather live in a cave um, where zombies couldn't reach you, but yet you could still be seen by them or um, in a tree house where they couldn't reach you. First or second one? The last one is a bad idea because you, if you're like up on a rooftop and or in a high ground, it could be it could be safe for a while, but if it, but if you need to come down and get your food, how are you going to get you food if there's a crap ton of zombies down there? So, um, uh, that's my logic. The first one and second one are hard, is hard. Um, probably the boat, because zombies cannot swim. Uh, the second one could, could be a good one also. But, um, uh, but, but uh, the thing is, um, uh, zombies, zombies can see you, and that would automatically freak me out, and... Would there be a backup way to leave that they can never see you? For for which one? For, for the cave. For the cave? Um, well, I mean, I'm just saying that, you know, the opening would be where they'd be able to see you, not necessarily that they'd always see you. So, um, like, you had you would have to climb up to it, to, to the cave, and zombies, assuming zombies wouldn't be able to climb, something like that. And... All right, next. All right, next question. Um, uh, if you if you're able to choose out out of out out of out of these three people in the zombie apocalypse, who who would you pick? Um, um, one a very very close friend, two a Navy SEAL, or three a doctor. Ooh, that's 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 a pretty good one. Um, but best of both worlds would be a friend that is an AZ, Navy SEAL and a doctor. So, <laughs> but assuming, yeah, that would be the best option. And yeah, I yeah, I, I would say the Navy SEAL for sure because he's been trained to survive out in the wilderness on his own and he's also trained with medical, you know, first aid. Not, not only first aid, but you know, like advanced first aid type stuff, I I I, I think, but yeah, for for sure, that would that would be the person. Yeah, the thing about doctors is a lot of them aren't really good with guns, and the close and the close friend, it depends what what they're good at. So Navy Seal is pretty is kind of the obvious is kind of the obvious one. 
All right. So next, so here's the next question. If you if you had a backup um entrance and and outway, uh, where would it be? Examples, down down in the ground, other other side somewhere or, whatever. What was the question? What was the next question? If you had a backway entrance or or exit, where would it be? Oh, for oh, for anything? Yeah. Would I have one? If you were able to choose where it was, where would it be? Um, it would be a tunnel. It would be a tunnel that would like open up like maybe 50 or 100 feet away. The further the better from wherever it is. So maybe you could sneak away if they ever surrounded you. Yeah, so um, I, have, I have a couple... Uh, a few more questions. I have a few more questions to ask. Um. Uh, All right. So if there, I have a, I have a few more questions to ask. Then um, uh, I'll I'll wrap it up and just say if you would survive or not, and how long you would. I think you would survive. Um. How would you, how would you how would you build your how would you how how do you think that you, that that how you are how. how how would you describe yourself? Strong, fast, durable, or just simply imitating, or none of the above? I'm not sure what you mean by imitating, but I'm leaning more towards none of the above. I mean, I I think I'm a little bit of all of them, but not a lot of all of them. So, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not fast. Not, I mean, I'm not terribly strong, but I think I have a few things going for me. All right, I have two more questions for you. All right, this one. Do, do you claim yourself as an intelligent per person, ranking it from 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest? 7. All right, and the last question is, how long do you think that you would survive in the zombie apocalypse? How? Oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's hard to say. Um, I think the hardest part would be surviving the very beginning of it, because you know, in the beginning, you're gonna be the hard part's gonna be dealing with the people, and then after that, things settle down. We'll just mostly be the zombies. But um so I'd say either two weeks or so do you think that you that you will or not? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, if if I can make it past the first two or three weeks then I think I could maybe go <laughs> three months. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to think about that. We need to change the subject. That was the last all right, that was the last that's question. Not, uh, that was the last question anyway. So I have two more uh, so this is how I th this is. Right. Okay. Uh, this these are the last things I'm gonna sum up overall. This is what I think. You would you would survive the zombie apocalypse, but um uh but a lot of the things that you claim back you up really good. But how long you would survive? That's the that's the tough part. Um, this is this is hard for me. I'd say like maybe. Six months to a year, maybe. Yes. Uh, maybe. Uh, for what's backing you up, the only downside is that you aren't like physically strong, um, uh, um, uh, fast, durable, and um, uh, not intimidating. Those are main things that you need in the zombie apocalypse. So. Yeah, but I'm still smarter than a zombie, and I'm faster than a zombie. But from other people who are crazy. Oh. So, um, uh, so, yeah, it was, it, so that's gonna be all for this video. Um, it was really fun doing this with my dad, and, um, uh, very entertaining. That was fun for me, too. Good father-son bonding experience. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Until then, I'll see you later.